I'm representing here Dr. Shifo, and you're, uh, you're watching it's a center, art center for traditional and contemporary arts. So uh, it's a newly built, great uh, art initiative. We have started our journey from last year. And uh, if you ask me why you started this kind of thing, so I should say, yeah, we are really hungry. Yeah. So we didn't find any job, we didn't have any this kind of you know space in this corporate culture. So we find okay, it's better to start something new, a new kind of art center where we can work together uh, our people who are my colleagues in Jato Shilpo and where we can create some kind of you know breeze kind of thing. In Bangladesh, all we are you know people are all the all the time working painting or some so-called contemporary arts or so-called uh, modern art or now it, nowadays post-modern art. So we are thinking that how we can create something, you know, why we can uh, juxtapose all the things from different kind of arts. We don't believe in this kind of categorization of arts in that sense. So we are thinking that okay, if we create some place where different kind of arts can come together and create a new art language that can be, make some new sense. So that's the thing what we, what we have started this initiative. This next. And this, in this art center, uh, we do this kind of thing. You see, the research and publication, uh, some kind of workshop and e events, and uh, there is some kind of residency program for artists. And also, we do some crafts products. Next, please. And this is, uh, this is our very, we, we like this painting, and, and this is based on uh, field posters. And you know, act Mutabhat, I don't know how to translate it in English, but it's uh, based on the cinema posters and uh, painted by Mohammed Soeb, who is one of the traditional uh, master artists of cinema art trade. And uh, this is one of the things what we're trying to do, the rediscovering art of every day. Actually, we found that, okay, if we want to do something, so do something for the daily life. So we are trying to create something uh, artistically, uh, to create something rediscovering, because we need, we know, and we found it that in Bengal or in Bangladesh, art was a very integral part of our daily life. We forgot it. After, because of this colonial hangover, because of this long colonial rules, the colonial education, everything, and after this uh, colonial education, people are thinking, that, okay, we'll do create some artwork and some uh, elite people, some buyers will come and buy this thing and everything. Every time it's happening here, everywhere in the world, you know. You, you know, most much but, but better than me, but we are trying to something in this way, rediscovering art of every day. So this is uh, one of the motto of us, so this is the goal to create something uh, for new way of uh, art. Okay, next, please. Here we are watching a, a film, a cinema banner painting. I took uh, our friend Shurjo took this photograph in 2005. This is one of the trend, and this is a very popular trend in Bangladesh and also in the South Asian perspective. You can see, I I, I think that most probably this is one of the most popular visual art language in South Asia. So, but. Very funny thing that in in, Bengal, in Bangladesh uh, the, the, it has a history from after the uh, from the 1947 after the partition it has started in Bangladesh also, but in the art history it didn't get any place. You, you, you cannot see anything that in Bangladesh art history that people are reconsidering this art style in in, in in something something. No, they didn't consider it like that. And this is a, in a workshop. This is also I cannot see the captions of this or so on. Okay, anyway, I can tell. So this is a workshop and this is this photo is also taken from 2005 when I was uh, researching on this topic. I was working for the uh, Bangladesh Asiatic Society and at the time uh, we, we took this thing. Nowadays it's almost uh, faded away from and we didn't get any workshop in Dhaka right now. Uh, this is a place where we went last year. Uh, this is a village, it's called Nota Paril. 
and this is a, a very old uh, building, Jahid Manzil, and uh, one of uh, our senior artists, uh, Nasim Ahmed Nadvi, who has who run a uh, 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 foundation, and uh, it's called NNEDF, and they cooperate with us, and uh, for this workshop, we went to Manikgaon, the rural village, and this is the venue. Okay, next. This is a traditional teaching uh, technique of senior manager style. This is what we cannot see in our art institute. So it, we, are, we are trying to learn something from the from the old masters because uh, there is no way they, they have some different way. They, they have different aesthetic. They have different kind of teaching methods. They have their own language. We don't know. We are trying to know the language. And the, the work in progress. I see what kind of thing we are just learning at a time, and now we can see some output. Ah, oh, this is a danger now, huh? Urunto Prem. In Bangla film, you know, or Bihar in Bangla name, his name and English name is different meaning. So, danger love is not Urunto Prem, and Urunto Prem, it doesn't make danger love, but it has some connection, you can feel. And, please, next, back record, please. And these are the portraits and figure of uh, portraits and uh, figure of two artists. This was done by two artists jointly, and uh, uh, Jinatul Jahan and Ali Khomik, they went with through this 50 cc bike to the village, and they create this uh, they create a painting and an open day they showed to this thing in this way with, with their own 50 cc bike. Okay, next. And this is another thing, you know, empty full ke bachabu bole. That doesn't mean that its meaning is woman and word. No, not like that. But it has some connection, you can feel. And this is a painting by uh, Tahamita Hafiz Lisa, and uh, who she has, she, she has also actually created this uh, painting on based on the contemporary art scene, contemporary political situations in different ways, in some film style. Okay, next. And this is a two master painters. We are watching the Mohammed Soe, who is a very old man, and uh, the Shukumar Thor was one of the other master, and the artist Shokti Namath, and uh, at open day with his uh, work, Asha Nirasha. In his English name is a true story. Uh, after this workshop, we, we were looking for some way out how we can help this kind of people and how we can create something new. So we decided to, because we went to the cinema hall owners and some other distributors, but they denied. They don't want to give work to these painters. They said, it's expensive, it's, a, it's not, it's the old fashioned, we don't want it. So we decided to create something, wooden painted wooden tool. And uh, now we are going to start, we are, we are, if someone interested to buy this kind of thing, they can buy and, uh, and uh, the original cinema painters, uh, masters are also actually doing this thing. This is uh, one kind of, you know, some way out, alternative way out for the cinema when painters. Yeah, next. Now I am trying to say something about rickshaw art, which is another uh, major attraction for us. And you know, this is a very interesting place, this is a very, very, very interesting art style. So, uh, this is all about rickshaw art, you know everything. Please, next. And. This is the painting by Art Dash, and where you can see from Dhaka to the Himalaya, everything is there. So we are actually planning to do something with the Diksha uh, train, and uh, this next. And uh, also this is a very fun thing, and you know, that in, the, in the 70s, I, uh, from my research, you know, that in the 70s, the government banned to draw a human figure on Diksha, so they started this kind of painting in the 1970s. So that, it has some different meaning. All of your artists can you know better than me. And Arkida is the, the one of the pioneer painter uh, in Rickshaw trained and who has started painting in the 1950s, early 50s. And I, I consider him as one of the master artists in Rickshaw trained, like Jalil Abedin and Sultan in different ways. And now we are working with them, with them in a different way. We are also planning to create some kind of workshop where some contemporary young artists can learn this kind of technique from these old masters. And now we are also creating some product. This is not that type of art piece in that way, but we are creating some product for them because the rickshaw art is also fading away day by day. So this, is this kind of thing we are also pro producing in Jyotashilpo. That's for sure. Please, next. 
And also it is it's all about Jamdani. This is now world heat is, you know. And so we have a very good contact with the Jamdani weavers and we are trying to create some new art language with the with uh, Jamdani uh, motifs and Jamdani weaving thing. So well, we, we have already created some Jamdani scarf and these are the weaving and uh, this, uh, near Dhaka there is a place called Rutgong area and some traditional weavers who are working on in this train and it's a, it's a, it's a really tradition of more than 1000 years. So we are trying to create something with this thing. So it's still working. Some motifs is there. Very small presentation, don't worry. Please. And it's all about future plan. We are planning to some large scale painting show in somewhere else, uh, somewhere in Dhaka or somewhere in small town maybe or some other place too. We are trying to communicate with the traditional and uh, okay, academic artists from Dhaka, Kolkata, Tildi, Mumbai, Lahore, and Karachi, some both interesting place for the cinema uh, banner art in the history. So we know some people are also working in Mumbai, even, even in Calcutta, and we came to know some people are still working in Lahore or Karachi. So we're trying to communicate with them and we have some plan to do some large scale painting with the whole city will see. And this is also important that we're trying to reach the must people local people, not only the, a segment of people, all the people will see the work, this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of uh, exhibition we would, like, we would love to arrange. And please next. And also we have some upcoming projects like uh, we are going to start an international residency program from the June and uh, some anyone can come and join with us and uh, work with the local artisans, well, work with the local people, with the Jaffa Po artist team and uh, a series of workshops of traditional artists, for example, we are going to, going to arrange an, uh, a workshop on Riksha art with, with uh, collaboration with Alias Process di Dhaka in a very short time and also we have planned to publish some books on contemporary crafts of Bangladesh and that's the thing what we are going to do and and that's all. If you have any question, you can ask me. Please. When you started your presentation, you <coughs> said that uh, you don't want to categorize uh, contemporary and traditional. But uh, when you are writing contemporary and traditional, that time you are not categorizing? Uh, yeah, that's for sure. I'm, I'm really confused because just before few days, you know, uh, the, uh, we got the recognition from UNESCO and as a traditional uh, uh, cultural heritage, as, as you know, we are also part of the Mongol Shubhajatka. That is also starting from 1989. If you, came, if you start to go back more than it is 85. So it is not more than 30 years. Now it is a world heritage. And you know, some other things are still going on that, that, didn't, that, didn't, that didn't get, get the uh, considered as tradition in that way. So I am really confused what does it mean. But if you want to do something, you need to make some word. For example, folk art. Crafts, I don't believe personally. But if you want to do something, organizing some things, you need to put some word. So if you cannot, if you do not what this, you use this word, what does it mean? It doesn't make any sense. People will make some new sense. I believe word cannot express everything. So it's difficult to say. So if you can start debating, I can debate, mm -hmm. but that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense that finally. Yeah. It's an amazing and um, there are uh, some very good collections of cinema banners. I've collected some of those from museums before, but it's always a little bit um, um, controversial in you know, the status of the objects and so on. Um, so I think it's very really important work that you are doing. And it touches actually this um, subject of the contemporary and of terminology that we were just talking about. Um, that I think it is uh, very important to think of all the art forms that are done today as contemporary artistic practices in all their forms and look at the relationship and look at things together that are not usually considered together. So in your work is very much about uh, cutting edge. Um, before I worked I'm now at the Sun Company, but before I worked in a museum in Australia, um, the Queensland Art Gallery Gallery of Modern Art, that does a lot of thinking about that as well in terms yeah. of the, in the Asia Pacific um, Triangle, including different types of textiles that in the past have been separated out into the ground of art, 
for traditional arts and you know, really strongly making that statement about contemporary artistic work is all contemporary and, and really getting people to look at things together. Um, so then that was more, I guess, a comment just on the importance of your work. I was also interested in the question about the last slide where you said you had a project for the future looking at um, cinema painting style murals, if I understand, um, in public spaces, and you talked about artists from um, Bangladesh, but also from, I think, you said, Exactly. Yeah. So you, are you working with a network on that project? Are you working with other um, organizations in other places that are also interested in um, giving more visibility or to those cinema painting forms and the new ones? Well, we're, we're not involved uh, anyway in that way. So we're, not, we're just uh, planning this kind of thing from the last year, and we're all working with some people. You have some different kind of network. So, of course, we will love to work with other organizations if they want to uh, come and collaborate with us. We would love to work with them also. So, because it's a huge project, so we need, uh, as, as I say, that, you know, so if someone come to us and if some, some with a good intention, then we would love to work with them, definitely. Because uh, for, to organize international art uh, projects like that, for, from, uh, where from different, different kind of artists will come from different countries, it's not easy just from Dhaka. And in Bangladesh, it's really difficult. So, so we'd love to work, uh, we'd love to welcome, we'll, 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 we'll welcome the, anyone who uh, would love to come and join with us. Thank you. <laughs>